we weren't gonna record, but now we decided we're going to because we are mocking up the settee. There's our bench. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real, real no, rough mocking. It is, but like it gives you a good idea of, of space. space. And that's kind of what we're shooting for right now. Maybe. Is that that's the table? That's the bench. Oh, that's the bench. All right. So bench will be. And then 17 inches. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's the bench. Oh, you did 18. Cardboard. I hate cardboard. I really hate cardboard. As useful it is as it is, I hate it. Alright, so that would be bench, bench two. We figure So we've been back and forth on numbers. We picked up some general uh, restaurant booth bench dimensions off the internet. Um, they seemed a little big for what we're doing, so I actually did throw a lot of this up on the CAD program that I have. Um, I made it work with those numbers and then we had gone to dinner the other night and I actually just shot the measurements off my phone with the uh, the Apple measurement app there. Hey. Yeah, it was different than what, what I had drawn. So we're trying to kind of go by that because it was a comfortable booth. And, uh, and it was actually smaller than the dimensions that you had drawn. Yes, and the table was much bigger too, which we don't need a huge no. table in here. So no, we can no. actually gain. So the more compact we can make the settee, the more room we're going to gain for the head and the uh, co-pilot seat so uh yeah it, it, it's hard to like explain how this is going to look so we'll kind of try to show you anyway yeah and go from there yeah over here yeah, and that allows you to be probably pretty close give and take the part of the table there you go and we can just take these two together The table can get higher than that. Like we do have an adjustable height pedestal mount for that. So. Close up. So it would be something like this. Alright. Right. the boat, they say. And it'll be fun, they say. Always interesting. Anyway. Just hold that towards me for a minute. Me. Yeah. That's smart when I got my hot glue gun. You just glue this all. All right. So this is our <laughs> mock-up. All right. There's a false wall here. That's why there's a giant gap. It's about four inches so off the, of the gu the gunnel. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. There's a window frames come down on this angle here. You see, and this window frame runs from this edge, this vertical edge, all the way back to that vertical edge on the big bulkhead there. So that's all window frame, and then inside of that, there's a, a vertical wall that comes down, and there's gussets under the whole gunnel all the way up. So, yeah, that gap will all be closed in. This will actually pretty much be the wall there. If you wanted the actual representation, you're pretty close anyway. Looks like more than four inches over there, but whatever. It's leaning in a little too, just to hold it there. So, so general idea, right? That's pretty close, okay? Yeah. And I think that's all right. It's going to be a good seat height and all that. Yep. And if you're cooking or anything, you know, Plenty we, of room. We're not really going to be cooking underway too much. Cause nope. We're like, not going to be going yeah. on for passage. But uh, when you're cooking, you want something you can lean against. And you will have this table here that will technically be kind of against the wall. So. And we'll probably be cooking 90% of the time on the grill. Of yeah, I would, I would hope so anyway. I, I'm, you know, I'd much rather cook on the grill than on the stove inside the boat. Yeah. So, that right, so that's this area. So that is... 56 inches, right? Or 140 millimeters, give or take. For you, uh, what do they call us? Non freedom. Yeah, oh yeah. Freedom units. Non freedom unit uh, people. Yeah. Uh, for the metric, the metric speaking world, um, yeah, we're like 142, 
centimeters. Centimeters would be 1,420. Right, right, right. Yeah. This metric conversion thing is, uh, we're starting Marker. to get used to it, and it's been uh, two years, yeah. Yeah, two plus years I'm now. Not, I'm not getting used to it. <laughs> so I, I still go by... Uh, Inches. Yeah, freedom units or imperial, as we call it here in the States. Uh, you know, it's what I use every day. So. Now, we have a co-pilot seat that's going to sit here. Um, this will all be built into the same module uh, as this, right? just one to keep weight down and uh, it'll all kind of resupport everything. So the backrest of this seat here will be the inside wall of the head and then the seat will go here. And we want that seat elevated to the same height as the captain seat here, which will be 36. So this one's gonna go here. Okay. I'm gonna jump down there and right, tape that side. Okay. The way I'm not gonna be able to stand in this head, and I don't think you are either. Because right now, from the floor. I never really expected to. I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice, but. Well, right now we are, give or take, 66 inches, so five foot six. Yeah, I won't be able to. Yeah, so. Stand. Whoops. So this would be. That would be the height of the captain's seat. Sweet. Okay, so this would be the height of the shelf on the side of the captain's seat. And this is, again, two inches out. This is only 40 wide, so we're actually two inches further that way. Without pulling the whole thing over. It's about four foot. Four foot. So 24 from four foot still leaves you a two foot gap here to walk. Okay, that's, that's fine. And that's kind of what we yeah. said, around 20 inches, two foot. All right, so this here would be the height of the floor up the 36 inches is here. Give or take. There. Quality content. Quality. Yeah, quality content. I was swearing and damn cardboard and. Good enough. We do have final dimensions for all this. This is very rough, just so we can get a visualization. Um, Cassie definitely is better with uh, visualizations here like this. Yeah, so I, uh, we I need to picture things. Gotta do what we can to, uh, <laughs> just so she knows what she's getting into. Yeah, I need a 3D no, no, I'm all for model. It. I'm, all for I'm sorry. It. I'm just saying. You get a better feel for everything. You do, you really do get a better feel for space. Because it, it kind of close up really fast. It sure is. All right, so this would be the front of the, the cabin. pilot co-pilot yeah whatever right and that would give us two feet by here and you have it's not going to be That's a rigid good. edge either it's going to be you know yeah i'll try to champ uh, like chamfer the corners as we can so this, this is one of the, like the true test too is right here walking through walking through if we have to pass you can still have plenty of room to pass it right mm -hmm. and this would have to be the, the head yeah so, so wait. Cardboard's so flimsy it's hard. Hun, question. Answer. This uh -huh. is the height of the cushion seat, correct? This is the base, the base. of the seat, of the captain's seat. That's going to be a really high seat, honey. Because well, think it. about, think about, I mean, it's a thick. It's about six inches, I think. Well, the plate will give you, what, another inch? Yeah. So it's going to be seven inches up off of that. Which is going to be up here. I mean, we can drop it down, but we still have this issue here of like we need this area for shoulder the for the head. And just for a visual reference, this is what we are aiming for. This is underneath the bump out that is next to the co-pilot seat. These are pictures from Aspen Catamaran that we visited in Washington. I don't even know what this is, but right, so my head is here. I'm probably gonna be the tallest person ever on this boat. Yeah, you and my dad. Yeah, your dad's pretty close. I totally just marked that with the long shot. Yes, you did. I was wondering what you were doing. All right, so give or take this height here, 42, 40, 42. Like you could gain six inches on this if you wanted to the shelf and drop this down a little bit. This bend is 42? This bend is 42. 
Okay. So that would be the height of the shelf on the side of the seat. Okay. Now we could pull that seat down six inches. I think it needs to be. That's very high. Okay. What are we going to bring it down to the height of the settee? Settee. Are you going to be able to see over the with that? Where's the windshield? That? That would be the top of the dash, yeah. I won't be able to see much. What if we drop it down to... And, and so originally I was figuring these would be elevated and I actually have a, a fold down step that goes on this bulkhead right. that you'd be able to put your feet on so you could sit comfortably, have your feet on the step and you'd be able to fold it up and still access through here. I think this needs to be dropped still. How much you want to go? Six to stop? Yeah. Can you sit like you're sitting on the head again? For your shoulders. It was... You know? Yeah. I mean, really, the head's probably going to be like out here, give or take. Can we kitty corner it? To an extent. Dude, you're fine. With this? Yeah. I have six inches. So, so if we dropped it six, it's going to be like right on your shoulder. But then I can push this wall back. Like, yes, the height would be like right on my shoulder, but. I could push this wall here, like I can cut this area out. This is going to get cut on this very wall. So we just got done mocking up pretty much the entire cabin area. It feels good. It feels right. And the only issue we're having is the head that we moved here. But I think it's still doable. We just got to find the right compostable toilet. Plenty of room. You can sit. Have leg room. I'm going to have a probably an accordion style door here. That goes from here to here. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I just really don't want the head to be in the berth. That way we'll have a bigger sleeping area and also a less smelly one. The idea of sleeping next to a toilet just doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, this is our setup. This is what we got going. Galley, walkway, co-pilot seat, bench, table, bench. This is going to be a shelf next to the co-pilot seat because that's where the head's going. And yeah, there's going to be another window cut out there and we're going to widen the doorway about two inches. Come on up! How's it feel? This is a little wonky. A little flimsy. It's a little wonky, but... Uh... We just got to figure out the, the head, what head to get. Yeah, the head will be the big, uh, big question on this. Um, we you, had one. Did that you we kind really of explain wanted. that area, the head? Yeah. So we're kind of limited on space. The one we were looking at may or may not fit. It might be too big. It might be too long. It might be too long. So we're trying to. We're going to go research other solutions for that. But other than that, the layout feels pretty, pretty good. Does anybody have any suggestions for a compostable toilet? Yeah, leave them in the comments below. We'll definitely uh, look into everything. We've been looking into the Simplu. 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 The UK brand. Yep. There's not many, uh, I don't know. You they know look, they, they just, the, ugh, nature's head is just so ugly and so expensive. Yeah. So we want more of a toilet looking toilet. <laughs> yeah. It, Stylish toilet. But anyway, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.